So I've just made a plan for tomorrow. This is what I'm gonna be having. Cheesy egg bagels, tortellini pasta with shredded chicken, and pizza topped chicken and potato. I've also got a plan for this week. So this is what I've been doing workout wise, and this is what I've got planned for the rest of the week. I like to plan it out so that it's literally all ready to go. And we know what we're gonna be doing. I find it so much more motivating. Anyways, night guys. Good morning you guys. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we are doing a full day of eating, but I wanted this video to be a little bit different because I understand that we are busy gals. We are on the go. We wanna go out with our friends. We wanna socialize and we don't wanna be slaving away at the stove for hours and hours. So I thought in this video, we could do five to 10 minute, quick, simple, healthy meals that you can eat whether you are dieting or maintaining Maintaining, and they're gonna be full of protein and nutritious meals that are just so easy to prepare. And they have very few ingredients because there is nothing worse than looking at a recipe book or looking at a recipe and thinking, how many ingredients are in this recipe? Like, it just puts me off straight away. I don't know about you guys, but I just cannot deal with 10,000 ingredients, not only myself, but also my bank. So in this video, we're gonna be doing exactly that. Please make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of food, fitness and lifestyle content. And guys, I just love this little space that we're creating. Like these videos are my favorite and I know that you will love them as well. So before we start, I just want to give you a bit of an update as to what I'm doing at the moment. So yeah, I'm currently maintaining. I'm on like my second month now, going into the third month of just maintaining my body. I'm not tracking macros or calories. Um, I will actually put the calories and the macros for the recipes because I know that you guys might be and you might want them, but personally, I'm not tracking at the moment. I'm just enjoying my summer and do you know what? It's actually given me a bit of motivation to get back to it sort of when I'm ready. And I think I'm gonna do like, well, I know I'm gonna do a lean kind of gain over the winter period, but for now we're just cruising, we're enjoying life and I'm happy with where we're at. I feel like, I know I spoke about this last time, but I'm, my training is definitely not going as well, but I find it hard to get to the gym because I am so busy unless if I really plan when I'm going. I'd say at the moment I'm going like three to four times a week and I don't know I love the gym so it upsets me when I can't go but it is what it is we're not gonna dwell on it I'm actually so bloody hungry now so we're gonna get into this video and we're gonna start off with breakfast I've planned three quick and easy meals and I hope you guys like them so first of all we're gonna start off with a bagel recipe now you can do this in the air fryer, which is what I'm gonna do, or you can do it in the oven. So it's completely up to you, whatever you have really. Okay guys, so for breakfast, we're gonna be making a really quick and easy bagel recipe. It's basically a egg in the whole bagel topped with cheese and chili flakes. And it's one of my favorites because it is so easy. These are the ingredients that you're gonna need and this is how you do it. So we're gonna need two eggs, we've got some bagels. I prefer these ones to New York ones. I don't know about you guys. These just taste a lot softer. The New York ones are quite tough, I find. And we've got some chili flakes mature cheese and then some grated mozzarella okay so we're going to take our bagel just pull it apart what we're going to do is just make the holes in the middle slightly bigger and this is going to fit the egg so i just like to cut around really roughly and then just push it out just like that it comes out quite easily and then we're just going to do the same with this okay don't worry guys, you can just eat this, it literally tastes so good. I like to pop some cheese down. This will be for the middle of the bagels. Then we're gonna take our air fryer and we're just gonna line it with some baking paper. We're then gonna take some cheese, just lay it on the middle as to where the bagel will be. Flatten it out a bit. Then pop your bagel on top. Then we're just gonna crack our eggs in. I like to then top mine with some mozzarella and some more cheddar cheese. Finally, some salt and pepper. 
Then we're just gonna air fry it for around 10 to 12 minutes until the egg is cooked at 180 degrees C. Okay, bagels are done. Guys, these look insane. So cheesy underneath. Then I'm just going to top them. I've just found this in the cupboard. It's this chili hit by Cornish Salt. This looks really good. I'm get the lid off. There are my breakfast bagels for just 397 calories and 27 grams of protein. These literally look absolutely insane. Okay, here goes. Mm. They are unbelievable. Um, the egg is still runny in the middle. Oh my god. god. The egg, I don't know if you can see that, is still runny in the middle. Guys, you have got to try these bagels. Oh my god. I feel like this is my new breakfast obsession. And I haven't got the egg egg anymore either. I feel so full, but that was honestly so good. Like, I feel like I'm gonna be having that for breakfast every single day this week. That is literally what I do when I find a breakfast I like. I just have it every single day and then I get so sick of it until I just don't like it anymore. Don't know about you guys, but that is literally my personality trait. But anyways, I am going to go and do some work. I'm actually not training today because I don't have time, <laughs> being honest. And I don't wanna go and just have like an okay-ish session because I wanna train legs and I want it to be a good leg session, you know? So I'm gonna get up early tomorrow morning. I've already promised myself that I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna have a good session then. But yeah, I'm gonna get on with some work and then I'll probably have lunch around two o'clock. So slightly later, just cause I've had breakfast a little bit later. Also guys, while I'm on the topic, my cups are coming so soon. I have genuinely never had so much interest in a product before. These cups, I've been, well, I ordered them so many months ago and they finally arrived. But yeah, I'm so excited for them. Look at them. They are honestly the cutest things ever. They come in black cream and then I've got a gray as well. These are gonna be dropping next week. Ah! So keep it on my Instagram. They're actually gonna be quite cheap as well because I don't know, I just, I can't relate to spending like 60, 70 pound on a cup. Like obviously Stanley do ones, pretty similar. But I just, no. These are gonna be a lot cheaper, 18.99. And I've only got a few. So if you want one, stay tuned and just keep it on my Instagram stories. I literally can't get away from my computer at the moment, guys. Like work is hectic and I'm not complaining because obviously it's amazing that I am so busy, but I'm such a snacker and I'm just gonna be real. I bought these yesterday. They are M&S white chocolate cookies. Let me get one out, one that I haven't eaten. Oh no, they've all like crumbled. That's really annoying. If you're looking for like a white chocolate cookie, you know, and it's like kind of semi undercooked and gooey and just so good. These are genuinely, so it's really not a good representation, but they are the best cookies I have ever had from like a supermarket. They just taste like so good. And I've been sat here working, just like picking at them. But anyways, I don't even know the calories. Do I want to know? Oh, 344 calories per cookie. But I mean, it's 344 <laughs> calories of good cookies. And because I'm maintaining at the moment, I'm not really worried. Like this is a time to kind of like, enjoy my food like i'm still working out i'm still staying active and as long as i'm doing that i can still have my sweet treats every now and again i've actually literally done just under three thousand steps today and it's two o'clock so not great um i'm definitely gonna go for a walk later just because otherwise i feel really bloated but anyways guys it is lunch time so let's go and make some lunch so for our quick and easy lunch i'm gonna be making yes guys it is a pasta recipe you know how much i love my pasta but to make it really quick we're gonna be using this tomato and mozzarella tortellini which cooks in literally five minutes it's so quick and we're gonna be adding a protein sauce to it and we're gonna make it like a creamy tomato tortellini pasta so these are the ingredients that you're gonna need so to make my super quick lunch we're gonna need some tomato and mozzarella tortellini but you can use whichever one you want now i would use pre-cooked chicken but i don't have any so we're gonna season this up and then we're gonna pop it in the air fryer and it will cook whilst everything else is cooking we've got some tomatoes parmesan onion low fat cream i can only get this one but it is 50 percent less fat then we've got some spinach italian seasoning tomato paste 
and some salt. So first of all, we're just gonna season the chicken with some, oh, Italian herbs, wow. <laughs> then some salt and pepper. Then I also like to add some paprika. And finally, a little bit of olive oil. So we're just gonna coat that really well. Now I'm just gonna pop the chicken into the air fryer. I've just covered it up slightly because it keeps it a little bit more moist. And then we're gonna cook it at 180 for 15 minutes. How good is that, guys? Okay, I've just shredded up my chicken that was cooking in the air fryer, and now I'm just gonna pop it in here and mix it all together. Oh my God, this honestly looks insane. And there is my tomato and mozzarella tortellini with shredded chicken. This looks absolutely insane. I'm so excited to eat this. Per portion, there are 554 calories and at 42 grams of protein. I'm sorry, but how good does this look? This is definitely one of my new fave ways to have tortellini pasta. And it literally took 15 minutes. I literally get asked so often why I love pasta so much. And do you know what? I don't know. I think it's because it's so easy to cook and it's so easy to make it really tasty. Whereas sometimes I feel with like potatoes or rice, it can just be a bit bland and that's I mean, it doesn't have to be, but do you get what I mean? Like you can just make pasta so good. That's my pasta, guys. It's literally just gone all over my hand. That's one thing I don't possess. Good presentation skills. <laughs> I'm so messy. You really don't want to see like the mess over there now because it, it actually is not okay. That is unbelievable. One more. This is insane. Good evening guys. So it is now 20 to seven. I've had the most hectic day. I've definitely not had enough protein and that is why supplements are a beautiful thing because I'm about to have a scoop of the clear way in cherry lemonade. This stuff has changed my opinion on protein powders and clear way because I am not a person that drinks protein powder. I just can't do it. Like I don't like the taste. It tastes not great. But Clear Way literally tastes like Robinson squash, but better. Like I live off squash. I don't really drink water that much because the water in London just really doesn't taste that great. Um, and we don't have a water filter here and I just don't want to buy like bottles and bottles of water. So I live off squash. And this has just changed the game for me because it tastes like squash and it is very high in protein. Per 30 gram serving, there are 26 grams of protein. So it's really good. So I've just got some water in here. And I've also put some ice in there. And then I'm just gonna add a scoop of this in there, mix it up and then just drink it as I am making my dinner. You guys can use code ELLINAFIT to save 10% off of all women's best products. Okay guys, taste test. You do have to let it sit for a little bit because otherwise it is a little bit lumpy, but it looks like it's all gone. I literally can't get over it. Like how does that taste so good? It just genuinely tastes unreal. I, just, I can't even taste it. It's protein. Yum. But anyways, for dinner, we've got a really easy recipe. It's not necessarily a quick cook, but it is a super easy to prepare one. So I thought we could still include it. And if you're working from home, it's definitely something you can just get in, shove in the oven, and then literally just take it out of the oven and it's done. We're gonna be making pizza chicken. So we're gonna do it all in one pan. We're literally just gonna chuck in the sauce, the chicken, the cheese. We're gonna leave it to cook and it will hopefully take like 25 to 30 minutes. And then I'm also going to just air fry some potatoes as well to serve with it. So for this recipe, you're going to need two chicken breasts. These are actually massive. So I think I'm probably gonna make enough for like three to four portions, just cause that is huge. Um, I'd say aim for around 130 grams per person, but obviously it depends like what your goals are at the moment. Um, but that's probably what I would have around 130 to 150. We've got some ham hock, cause we're gonna be making this ham 
ham and pineapple flavor. Now, if you don't like pineapple on a pizza or ham, you can obviously change the flavors and I'll tell you when you can do that. We've got some potatoes just on the side. We've got mature cheese, grated mozzarella, garlic salt. This pizza topping, I was sent this a while ago and it is so good. And then we've got some Cajun seasoning that is just for the potatoes. And finally, we've got some pineapple and some tomato sauce. Now this I just bought from Sainsbury's. You can get any one that you like, but I just found that this one was cheap and it's got hidden veg in it. First of all, we're just gonna take this hidden veg pasta sauce and pour it into the bottom of the dish. I'm gonna use about three quarters. Then we're just gonna add our chicken. Now I have just chopped each one in half. This will reduce the cooking time guys because it won't be as thick, just like that. We're gonna add some salt, pepper, and finally the pizza topping. Just move that out. So it will look like this, and then I'm just gonna cover it in foil and place it into the oven at 180 degrees C for 20 minutes. Then we're gonna take it out and top it with our grated cheese, mozzarella, and all of the other stuff. Then we're just gonna chop up our potatoes. I am gonna serve this with potatoes, but you could obviously serve it with whatever you wanted. You can even do pasta. I'm gonna use around 200, well, around 150 to 200 grams per person. Even though I'm not tracking my calories, I actually still weigh out things like potato, rice, pasta, just because it's so easy to get the portions so wrong. And it's such a waste of food if you overcook. And obviously I don't wanna be hungry either gonna add a drizzle of olive oil, some Cajun seasoning, and some garlic salt. I've actually stopped using cooking spray now because, well, I was doing some like research into it guys, it's actually really bad for you, like really bad for you. Yeah, and I just think like, what's the tablespoon of olive oil? Olive oil actually has so many health benefits for you when it's obviously in moderation. And it's also better for your cooking pans as well and it cooks better. So yeah, I've just switched back to olive oil. I don't know what your view is on it, but I don't know. I just feel like everything's okay in moderation. And obviously now I'm maintaining anyways. I don't need to be using things like cooking sprays. Okay, potatoes are all mixed. And now we're gonna pop them into the air fryer for 20 minutes at 180. Okay, so I've just taken my chicken breasts out of the oven. They look like this. Now I'm just gonna top it with my cheddar cheese, mozzarella. We're gonna use some pineapple, but like I said, you can add any toppings. If you wanna use pepperoni, you can, whatever you wanna use. And then we've got some ham hock here, which I got from Sainsbury's. It's all shredded up, so I'm gonna add that as well. So the potatoes are done. I literally put them in the air fryer for 20 minutes and they come out so crispy. And then there is our pizza chicken. How good does that look? I honestly cannot wait to eat this. This will probably actually serve four people just because of the amount of chicken I put in it. But obviously you can just cater the portions according to how many portions you need. And there we go. There is my ham and pineapple topped pizza chicken for just 472 calories and each of these bowls has over 50 grams of protein guys that was so quick and easy it was a bit longer than i probably wanted to just because obviously the chicken takes a while to cook in the oven it probably took like 25 minutes but it's so quick because you obviously just chuck everything all into one dish oh my god guys i am so full it's actually insane how much potato fills you up compared to things like pasta rice like i am full but anyways that was my full day of eating i'm just gonna have a shower now take my makeup off and just get into my pajamas because I need to chill. I've had such a long day. It's already quarter past eight and I haven't even finished work yet. But I hope you enjoyed this video and found these recipes really useful. I tried to make them really quick and easy and just really simple, like not a lot of ingredients. You can just bang it in the oven or the air fryer, whatever you've got. And they're just really quick to make. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you wanna see next. And of course, like I said, I'll 
I'll make sure I put all of the ingredients and the macros and calories below as well. So if you guys want to make any of the recipes that I made today, you can also make them. Um, but thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you at the same time next week. Bye bye. Thank you.